Hello everybody, good evening. Friday, I can't remember, I'm telling you, I keep getting stumped on the date. I know it's Friday, <laughs> the last Friday of January, uh, 2022. I wanna say it's the 28th. Um, I hope you all are doing great and you had a beautiful day. It's been a long week. And um, I read this morning in my one year Bible about Moses in Genesis in Exodus and I love this portion of scripture and Moses humanity I mean we put Mo Moses on a pedestal the people of Israel and and you know the Jewish culture they love Moses put him on a pedestal obviously God used him for uh, many many miracles and signs and wonders to you know part the Red Sea all those things but the Bible shows that Moses was flawed you know he wasn't perfect and I think that's why it's important to read the whole Bible because if you just listen to Bible stories or Bible teachings you know we tend to cherry pick we tend to downplay someone's faults and um, increase or highlight a person's you know strengths and Moses was amazing. I love Moses. I love the book of Exodus. But he fought with God. He argued with God. He said, you know, send someone else. I'm not doing anything. You know, I read this morning. He says, um, Pharaoh hasn't let them go. And, and, and you haven't done anything that you've said, God. And you read that. You go, wow, look at the, the gall. Look at the, the audacity of Moses to talk like that with God. But Moses was just speaking how, not, I don't want to say how he was feeling, but how the circumstances looked. You know, just like we can tell God, God, our nation says, God bless America is our, you know, national anthem song. In God we trust is on our um, money, on, you know, the currency, um, the historical documents say all men are given inalienable rights by God but we're not living like it Lord where are you you know we can say the same thing like Moses said your word says God blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord but it doesn't appear at all that our nation is seeking you where are you Lord how long how long will our nation fight against the truth that you are God that Jesus is the Lord and we get frustrated. And it's not that we're frustrated with God per se. We're frustrated at the circumstance. So frankly, it's very refreshing to read about Moses' flaws and humanity. Because, you know, he made mistakes. He talked back to God. He shouldn't have. You know, Joseph, there's no record of Joseph ever talking back to God. You know, but Moses certainly did. And it got him, it got him in trouble, you know, in the end. But... Anyway, my point was that I understand Moses' feelings and questions, you know, just like Job, too. And so, God catapulted Moses. Moses was a special human being that God had set apart since before the foundation of the earth to be used as an instrument of peace, as an instrument of righteousness, as a tool in the hand of Almighty God to set the captives free. And Moses was going to be a picture of Jesus. He was going to be a picture of uh, God's tool, God's instrument, God's man that would be used as a leader to set people free. And that's a picture of Jesus. And so I just love it. You know, if you have some time, read, you know, in Exodus about how God, you know, calls Moses. And it's just so, um, it's awesome. It's, it's really a blessing to learn about how God uses the most unlikely candidates, you know. And yet we see, it's, it's such a neat example of how God preserved Moses. Because remember, they were throwing um, the, the male children into the river and that's why Moses mom Jochebed hides him in that basket because she says I don't want to I don't want to kill my son I don't want to let the um, Pharaoh's army and Pharaoh's soldiers come in and and slay my son so I'm going to put him in the basket in faith 
and uh, hope that he, you know, lives. And she, you know, shot a prayer up and Moses' life was spared. And it, it's just so beautiful the way that God spares children, uses children, protects them. But the enemy is always after the children. That's been so heavy on my heart. You know, I see just just horrible things. You know, um, I received a contact from someone saying, uh, I have a child that is trying to get a new birth certificate because they're changing their gender. And I'm just thinking, man, I never in, you know, a million years would have thought I would have that question from a client. Hey, can you help me get my child's birth certificate fixed because they don't like the, the gender that they were born with? It's just, it's just crazy. And even... I was filling out a form recently. I don't recall what form it was. I think it was something about, uh, you know, on the, my, the attorney website, Cal, California Bar. And it said gender. And it said male, female, prefer to not say, I don't know. It had all of these bubbles. And I thought this is the first year it ever said that. It's always for decades said male, female. So I'm sharing that because I'm just sharing that our world is in decay and decline and it's rapidly going downhill but that just means that we look up and we look to Jesus and we remind ourselves of the cross and we remind ourselves of our salvation and we remind ourselves of people like Moses and Esther and Paul and uh, John the beloved and Ruth and Mary the woman that was chosen to give birth to Jesus and Mary and Martha. And we just, we read the Bible and we glean from the Holy Scriptures and we see Jesus through every book of the Bible. We can see Jesus, his redemption, the, the pictures, it just shows us Christ. And so Lord, I just thank you for your Holy Word. I thank you for Exodus and for the amazing way that you preserved your people. You know, you, you promised Abraham that you would give him the land of Canaan. You said, leave, leave this land that you're in and go. And then you preserved him and you gave him a son, Isaac. And then Isaac had Jacob and then Jacob had Joseph and then Joseph had other children. And then Joseph died and people forgot about all of the amazing things that Joseph did. And then there was a, a man named Moses as it says in Exodus, and Moses was used mightily, God. He was such a mighty tool in your hand. He was a power tool. He was a drill. He was a mighty tool in your hand, Lord. But yet you want us to be like Moses. You want us to stop, to stand up for the rights of children. You want us to stand up for truth, God. So help us, Lord, not to shy away from the task. I've done it. I've done it this week, Lord. I've said, send someone else. I don't want to do this task, God. Send someone else. And even Jonah ran from you. And Moses said, I'm slow of speech. And I don't talk well. And no one's going to like what I have to say. And the children are not listening to me. The children of Israel aren't listening to me. Pharaoh's not in listening to me. God, why did you send me? Send someone else. And Father, I don't want to do that. Lord, help us all to be on your page, Father. You've given us all tasks that we love and that we do with joy. And you've given us tasks and assignments that are dreadfully hard, God. But just like you, Jesus, took the children and you lifted them up and you blessed them, that was a wonderful, joyful task. But then you also went to the cross and that was a hard task. So we have to take the bitter with the sweet, Lord. Help us, gird us up, strengthen us, give us a spine. Help us to have courage. Help us to have boldness, Lord Jesus, in these last days. Please, Lord, we're not living in regular days. We're living in the last days. And we're waiting for that trumpet, God. And even as I was thinking way back to 2020 and how I was praying for forgiveness, I thought if our nation would just forgive each other, we wouldn't have all this fighting. We wouldn't have, you know, the George Floyd incidents. We wouldn't have all of these horrible things in our nation that went down in 2020 if we would just forgive each other. But Lord, people don't want to forgive each other. They want to hold grudges. And you told your disciples 70 times 7, forgive, forgive, forgive. And maybe this is a word for someone praying with me right now. Heavenly Father, help us to forgive. Help us to forgive the, the people that harmed us in our youth. Help us to forgive 
you know, maybe a spouse or a, a um, co-worker or an employer or someone in church, Lord, somebody in church that maybe hurt us or a relative, God, an aunt, an uncle, a sibling, a grandparent, and whomever it is, whomever it is, a child, Lord, help us to forgive because that is the way of agape. Lord, you want us to forgive. You want us to turn the other cheek. You want us to be different, God. Help us to be different like that beautiful worship song. I want to be different. Help me be different. And and I just, I desire that. And I know we all do, Lord. Forgive us of our sins, Lord. Forgive us of pride, of selfishness, of too much TV, of idle talk, of idle um, time, Lord. Help us to redeem the time. Use our time wisely lord jesus help us to pray and to fast and to read and to share your word and to join small groups and to serve and to just be about your business however that looks father i think of people that are wheelchair bound that are um bed rest in bed rest and they can't go anywhere how can they serve lord they can serve you by praying they can serve you by texting they can serve you by singing your praises they can serve you by by blessing the nurses and the caregivers father we can serve you no matter where we're at i look at my boy isaac and i see how you've used him this special needs boy who doesn't have very many words but you've used him god as even his uh, aid at his school told me i look forward to his outfits every single day he always has something with scripture he has socks that say product of grace and he has a hat that says worship he has a t-shirt that says y'all need jesus and father it's such a testimony father that isaac cannot talk well he can't give out the romans road and and preach like you know typical people can but with his smile with his joy with his swimming with with just the breakthroughs lord how you got him through seizures and the cyst and brain surgery lord and god you're using my boy and you're using olivia and you're using chuck and i and i just say thank you i am not worthy but i say thank you i say bless you i say praise you i say more love more power more of you in our lives god use us no matter our age whether 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 we are in our 70s or whether we're in our prime or in our 80s or whatever state we're in whether we're a widow or married or divorced or single or or young use us jesus we want to be that living sacrifice god thank you for being the great i am Thank you for being the everlasting father, the prince of peace, the ancient of days, the just judge, the mighty one of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who was and is and is to come, the, the, the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. Lord Jesus, we praise you. You're Al Roy, the God who sees. You're Al Shaddai. You're Adonai. You're master. You're Lord. You're our bridegroom. You're our very best friend. You are our beloved. You're our kinsman redeemer. You are all these things and more, Jesus. You're the one that makes us white as snow, like that worship song, white as snow. Though my sins were as scarlet, Lord, I know I'm clean and forgiven by the power of your blood, by the wonder of your love. I know that I can be white as snow. Thank you for making us white as snow, God. Because we know the real us and we know the wretched sinners that we are, Lord. Our thoughts, Father, our motives. Father, even when we're trying to pray, we get distracted. We know that we're sinners, but your grace saves us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray for the prodigals. I pray for Adil and Autumn and Barbara's um, daughter and Grace's daughter, Lord. And um, for Rob and for Frank and for um, Don and gary and for um mark uh shami's son sandy's brother lord save his soul draw him close to you jesus don't let him stay comfortable in his sin lord he's a good man sandy was just sharing with me he's a good man he's a friendly man he's a kind man but he doesn't run to your arms for strength he doesn't run to your arms for comfort and help in time of need save him draw him back to you god please sandy's brother mark i pray for him i pray for my brother anthony lord jesus i pray for gwen's um grandson lord jesus i pray for all of the prodigals lord for uh, margaret's um brother vince 
all there's so many there are so many all my nieces lord my niece tishy i pray for their souls woo them with your love draw them with your love god like a moth to a flame like in the summertime when you, you have your porch light on and all the moths are attracted to the light draw them to the light lord before it's too late I just feel so strongly that you're coming soon. I pray for my family that doesn't know you, Jesus. Draw them like a moth to a flame, King Jesus. Friends, say their name right now. Whoever's on your heart, say their name. Jesus hears. We will not stop praying for the prodigals, for Calvin, Lord, for Talisa, Jesus, for Christiana's brother who's estranged, Lord. For those strung out on drugs and alcohol, Lord Jesus. For those that are just so far from you, Lord. For those that don't want you, God. For those that are atheists or in a homosexual relationship, God. Or in bondage to, to um, Jehovah's Witness or Mormon doctrine or, or whatever, Lord. Or they just say, I don't believe in nothing. There's many, God, new ages. Of, I pray against these false doctrines, God, that you would just set people free, Lord God. Please, you came to set captives free. You didn't come for the healthy. You came for the sick. And those that don't know you, Jesus, they're sick. I praise you for healing the, the physically sick, for helping Erica to get over COVID. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to heal her and Joshua and all of those struggling from the side effects of COVID. Even my husband Chuck has a lingering cough. I pray for Sherry Tima, my beloved sister in Christ, who has a mild case of COVID. I thank you, God, that it's mild. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're faithful. You're true. You're holy. You're righteous. You're so steadfast and unwavering. I pray for Francie, Lord, as they are threatening not threatening, but she has to deal with this situation of the vaccine and the booster at her job. And it's scary. Be with Francie. Give her strength. Give her endurance. Give her your perfect will, your perfect plan, God, over her life and her workplace, God. And I pray for all of those whose jobs are in jeopardy, God. I thank you for that right now I'm driving to pick up Olivia from a youth night. That she was able to hang out at a church with other Christian friends. And as iron sharpens iron, Lord, I bless you for that, God. Bless her. Bless the youth. Draw the youth to you, Lord. Not all these kids know you. They say they know you. They come out for fun. But I pray that they would fully surrender and commit their lives to you. I pray against porn. I pray against sexual idolatry and immorality and adultery, Lord. I pray for um, my sweet sister in Christ, Christina Morales' co-worker, who was dealing with a domestic violence situation. I lift up that sister to you for all of those who have been abused, whether through, through a spouse, domestic violence, or even someone they're not married to, Lord. Domestic violence is a terrible problem God intervene my Lord my God intervene Jesus please I thank you for the praises and the blessings for Gwen's um I um not Gwen Glenda's eye doctor appointment was good I thank you for that I thank you that my niece Nikki is is getting better that she doesn't have a fever um she's not in the hospital with COVID hallelujah thank you thank you God thank you praise you thank you that my mom is doing well Lord that you're taking care of her, Jesus, and you did not allow her to get COVID. I praise you for that, Lord. I bless your holy name, Jesus. Jesus, 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 we just want to love on you morning, noon, and night. So, Lord, would you make the crooked path straight? Would you do what only you can do in our nation, in our churches, in our hearts, in our homes, in our small groups? We need you. We are desperate for a touch from heaven. We're desperate for your perfect will. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Lord. Send revival fire on our nation, Lord. We need you, Jesus. Help us to repent. I pray for a godly Supreme Court justice. I pray for the nurses and the doctors who are so spread thin, Lord. Help them. Help them, God, to stand strong. Be with them. In Jesus' precious and holy and most beautiful name, I pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful night. And just let's keep praising the Lord. No matter the day and age and times we live in, where we want to praise the Lord and worship Him in spirit and in truth.